Yo, what's up everybody? This is your guy Tana from Tana So Lit. And on this video right here, I'm gonna show you guys what's on my iPhone in the summer of 2019. So enough of me yapping, it's time to make it happen. Let's go. All right now, here we go. As far as my lock screen wallpaper, you know what I'm saying? I got my display picture that's on my YouTube channel and around social media. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Shout out to Dila, you know what I'm saying, Didi, what's up? <laughs> Let me go ahead and unlock this phone, get to the home screen. As far as my home screen go, you know what I'm saying, this wallpaper, I love it to life. Scrolling over to the left, look at that, look at the colors on that boy. Straight smacking. I got this wallpaper from Zedge, I don't know the name of it or anything, but just go to Zedge. Man, and search through the wallpapers. Zedge is my go-to app for the wallpapers. Now as far as the apps on my homepage or whatever, Got the Apple Calendar right there. Got the notes right there. Then as far as my navigation needs, I'm rocking with Waze. Then I got the Galaxy Watch app for my Galaxy Watch pairing and all that. Then on the second row, the first app, Wikipedia. Second app, the Ookla speed test, the test data speeds and everything on my phone or the Wi-Fi network, wherever I'm at. Then I got my books app. Yes, I'm an avid reader, people. It is what it is. The next to that, I got the measure app. I love that, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I'm building something or working on something and I need the measurements, I love it. You know what I'm saying? It gives you, it gives you all the details and the information and the AI swag. It's dope. Then on the next row right there, I got Apple support. That right there is a must have for any damn iPhone. Man, that's tech support in the palm of your hand. They'll fix your phone and everything remotely right there for absolutely free. Man, and right next to that, I got the voice memos, just in case I wanna go ahead and memorize something real quick and I don't wanna type it. Then right next to the voice memos, I got the Bleacher Report. Hey, I'm deep in the sports. I'm basketball and football, all the information and news, I gotta have it. Then right next to that, I got the Find iPhone app. Just in case I lose this bad boy or something happen, I can locate it on my Macintosh or any computer. Then on the next row, I got the App Store. Y'all know what that is. Then right next to that, I got the dopest app for songwriters out. It's called Songwriter Pro. Man, oh man, oh man. On this app right here, you can go ahead and type out your lyrics, record your vocals, you know what I'm saying? Also upload the music and record your vocals on the music. That app is dope. Costs around five or six bucks or something like that, but it's absolutely worth it. And right next to Songwriter Pro is my Xfinity folder. Let me open that up right there. I'm on Xfinity Mobile, yes sir, yes sir. Huge shout out to them, they are sponsor of the channel and everything. And man, these are the three apps that I use from Xfinity. The My Account app for my cable, the mobile app for my phones, and Xfinity Wi-Fi X5 app to control all the Wi-Fi functionality in my house. Yes sir, yes sir. Let's go to the next folder. Right next to that is my music folder. Let's open that bad boy up. Yes sir, yes sir. Of course I got Pandora, Apple Music, Power 92.3 in Chicago, love that station. Amazon Music, and Shazam. Now we get into the serious folders. Inside my games folder right there, I'm not a gamer per se, but when I wanna go ahead and burn a few minutes or something like that, I play a game. So these are the games of my choice. First one, Eight Ball Pool. Yes sir, yes sir. Love that game to life. Right next to that, Mortal Kombat. Next to that is my second favorite game. I love Asphalt 9. Man, oh man, oh man. The cars on there are absolutely lit. Now in the second row, Family Feud Live, Wheel of Fortune, the basketball shooting app. I like that game a whole lot too. Now in the third row, the game of gods, Spades Plus. Yes, indeed. Don't try to play me in spades. I'm an expert. I will bust your ass. Next to that is the old Asphalt 8. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the second page right here, games, I got Uno with Friends, Yahoo Fantasy, and NFL Fantasy for all my fantasy sports needs because I'm heavy into the fantasy world of sports and people. I'm pretty damn good. On the second row, got the Marvel Strike Force, the USC app, whatever, for the fighting and everything like that. Got the NBA AR. Then on the third row, got NBA Live. Madden NFL and Marvel Champions. Now on the last page, I got the Kings of Pool. Somebody recommend that to me. 
Then I got the all-time classic Pac-Man and PUBG Mobile. Somebody also recommended me to play that, but I haven't yet. But I'll check it out, I guess, because people have been ranting and raving about it. Now in my Google folder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got the Google Chrome app, Gmail, Google Search, Google Drive, Google Trends, Hangouts, Google Duo, Google Maps, and Google Home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you switch it from Android to iOS and everything, or you're thinking about it and you wonder if you still can use your um, Google Apps and everything, here's proof that you can. I use them on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's get to the next folder. Now we're going to take it to the shopping folder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As you can see, the first app right there, I'm an Amazon Prime member, is the Amazon app. Next to that, Groupon for the deals. Then I got the Walmart app, AutoZone app, Fandango app, so I can go ahead and buy my tickets in advance when I want to go ahead and check out a flick. Then right next to that, I got the O'Reilly Auto VIN scanner, so I can get the right parts for my cars and everything like that. Then on the last row right here, on the first page, I got Uber Eats, Grubhub, and AMC Theaters, because I'm a member of that also. Got hella deals right there in AMC Theaters when I want to see some in the IMAX and everything. Then on the second page, the first app is CI Ratings. That's Consumer Reports. That app is very, very special and important to me. I advise you all to go ahead and get you a quick subscription to it. It's probably like $5.99 a month and everything, but it will tell you all the information on anything. Cars, appliances, food, TVs, or whatever. Consumer Reports intensively and extensively reviews anything that's out, period. Now we're in my lifestyle folder. Now, these are the folders that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I'm saying, to make my lifestyle flow easier. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, the first app is the Lyft app when I don't feel like driving, and the second app, the Uber app, you know what I'm saying? Both are pretty much the same. I like them both equally. Then next to those apps, I get the Southwest app when I want to go ahead and get some decently priced tickets and everything to fly. Even though I don't like flying that much, I go Southwest, but when I go first class, people, I'm rocking United. I didn't download the app because there's no need to because I'm always buying first class tickets on United. Now on the second row, I got the house app because that app is imperative and gives me a lot of ideas on home decoration and everything like that when I want to change the feng shui of the palace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And last but not least, people, I'm trying to turn my damn keg into a six pack. So there's the six pack app. Man, that app right there has a whole lot of great exercises to go ahead and chisel up that gut. All right, now we're in my social folder. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Man, first you see the main one, Facebook. Then I got Facebook Messenger, Instagram, and Twitter. You guys can catch me on either one of those at Tana Does Tech or Tana So Lit. Man, come rock with your boy. Then the next thing I got right there, right next to the Twitter, is the video saver. That's why I download all my videos from Facebook and save them. And man, it's summertime, people. I'm getting out, you know what I'm saying? There's some nice looking Fifi's out here. So I got the Tinder app, <laughs> the Snapchat app, and the Bumble app. Tinder and Bumble is busting right now. Check them out, fellas. There's some nice situations online. All right, now, now we're in the business folder. Anything that's in this business folder right here is money related. So either I'm spending it or getting it, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead with the apps. The first app is the Chase app. That's my bank. The second app that says Square. A lot of times people ain't got cash or something like that to do transactions with me. But hell, I take credit and debit cards. So that Square app right there comes with a reader. They can go ahead and swipe and I get paid. Right next to that is the Cash app. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows what that is. Then on the second row, there's my Capital One credit card app. Then my Credit One credit card app. Then I got Credit Karma to check up my credit score and everything to make sure everything's official and everything. So far, you guys looking real damn good. Then on the last row, I got the Acorns app for investing and the Robin Hood app. I know there's an app missing right here, damn it. All right, let's scroll on over. I got another investment app called E-Trade. You know what I'm saying? That's where you can go ahead and buy different stocks and invest your money in and get paid. Right next to that, I got the Apple Stock Calculator. Then I got the PayPal app. Then I got Tap That Tempo app on the second row. Since I'm a producer, a lot of times, artists will say, well, hell, I want a beat that sounds like this or that beat or a song or whatever. So I can go ahead and play the song and tap that tempo to the song and get the exact tempo. Then right next to that is the Betterment Investment app. Also a great, a great, great app I, re I recommend. 
Then right next to that is the FedEx app for shipping, the USPS mobile app for shipping also, the UPS app for shipping. Then I got the Epson iPrint, so I can go ahead and trigger my damn printer from anywhere in the country, in the city or whatever. Dope, dope, dope. Then I got the Apple Tap and Print app that comes with the phone. Got the ComEd app to keep the lights on. Got the Apple Wallet. Got Crowdfire for promotion on Twitter and Instagram. Then I got Fiverr for all the little promo materials that I want to get for my YouTube videos or whatever. Then I got the Rise Up app to network with fellow producers and fellow, and fellow artists out there to go ahead and chop it up and make some money. Then lastly, I got the Visual app. That right there is a virtual vision board. Man, that's dope. <laughs> Man, that's dope. It definitely keeps my mindset in the right place and focused. And lastly, we got the photo and video folder. Let's get it. First app, hey, what format we on? YouTube. Then I got YT Studio, so I can go ahead and chop it up with you guys and reply to your comments. Then I got the Apple Stock Photos folder. I mean, app, not folder. Then I got Google Photos. Then I got the Halide app. Man, that app right there puts promo on your iPhone and it's dope. I got a review of this app and a video. Man, go ahead and check it out. Click the card above. You won't regret it. Then right next to that, for the saucy photos with the damn filters and everything that's different, I got Hipstamatic. That is so sick. What it does is it puts vintage filters on all your photos and you can tweak them how you want to. Hipstamatic is the name. Check it out. Then for my video editor needs, my go-to app is Splice. Then I got Sling TV, because hell yeah, I'm a slinger. And I give the core a finger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then right next to that, I got the World Star app for my ratchetness that I need in my life from time to time. Then on the second page, the first app I got is a TV cast. So I can go ahead and cast anything from this phone onto any TV in my house. Then right next to that, I got the Apple TV app. Man, that app right there is so greatly improved. It's dope. Then right next to that, to edit my photos, I got Snapseed. Then on the second row right there, I got Streamlabs. So I can go ahead and live stream with my iPhone and also add some sauce to it. Then right next to that for all my wallpapers, ringtones and everything, I got Sedge. Dope, 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 legendary app. Then right next to that, I got Netflix. On the third row, I got the Rush app right there. And right next to that app, I got the Roku remote app. Then right next to that, I got the Amazon Prime video because I got a subscription. I'm a Prime member, let's go. Let me go ahead on to the last page. I got TubeBuddy, which I'm an affiliate of. Man, if you're a content creator, go ahead and download TubeBuddy ASAP, man. They got everything from tutorials, tagging tools and everything. Also royalty-free music. Dope, dope app. Then right next to that, I got that pit for all my mixtape needs. Then I got Jiffy, so I can go ahead and create a quick GIF. Then I got the meme generation when I'm on a troll patrol. Roasting people. Y'all know how I do. Then lastly, I got my settings app right there. You know what I'm saying? So I can go through my settings and everything. And as far as my dock, I got the phone right there, the messaging app for iMessage, FaceTime, and the stock camera. Now as far as my widgets go, let's go, let's go. Man, the first top widget right here is buffering right now because I'm on airplane mode, it's booksy. I'm a professional barber also, so I book all my appointments and everything through booksy. Dope, dope app. The second widget, the weather widget. Then the next widget right there that says favorites. Those are my favorite contacts and everything because a lot of times I'll be busy and I don't feel like opening up the dial and everything, just a dial number so I can just swipe to the left and everything and go to my favorites widget and make it happen. Then right up under there, I got the YouTube count widget. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right now I'm at 2145.8 hey, and I appreciate all 2,145 members of Team Lit. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And right up under that, I got my Amazon widget so I can monitor my orders and everything and today's deals. Then right up under that, I got my Shazam widget. You know what I'm saying? Quick little shortcut just in case I don't want to open up the folder so I can check out and know the name of what song that's playing, that's banging, that got my interest in everything. And up under that, finally, last but not certainly least, I got the Waze widget. This right here is the truth. People, if you ain't up on Waze, then you ain't navigating right. <laughs> Go ahead and get it and check it out. Man, oh man, oh man. 
Well, that just about does it for this point. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, man, please give your guy a thumbs up because that's official. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and rock with your boy Dan Tanner and join Team Lit, then do that too because I appreciate that too. All right, everybody. Get money. Get respect. And enjoy your tech. Be easy.